Wow, good morning, everybody, and uh, thanks for the warm welcome. It's, uh, it's great to be here, and it's great to be part of such an exciting industry. Uh, it's amazing to see the growth that's gone on over the past few years, and uh, really everybody here is a, is a great testament to that. Now, uh, Vuforia has been involved with AWE for a long time, for, for, for many years, and I'm sure you know the, you know the brand well. I'm, I'm excited to give you an update on what's happening with Vuforia. Um, but what you may not know is the company behind Vuforia, and that company is uh, PTC. Our CEO, uh, Jim Heppelman, gave a keynote here last year. He's uh, very excited about AR himself, deeply committed to it, and really a thought leader when it comes to um, communicating the, the value of AR in industrial enterprises. But in case you missed it, what you should know is that uh, PTC is a global software company. We're based in Boston, Massachusetts. We're about a billion dollars um, of revenue a year. And there are about 6,000 employees, and about a third of them are in R&D. And we got our start about 30 years ago when we revolutionized the 3D solid modeling CAD industry. Um, every physical product, every camera, everything that you interact with every day is designed in 3D CAD first, and we revolutionized that industry, and, and really the technology that we introduced is the state of the art today. Every major CAD system uses that same, that same paradigm. We then went on to help engineers and designers manage the life cycle of those products, deal with change, deal with variability and customer tailored products and lots of configurations with a product lifecycle management solution, uh, and also moved on to help them with manufacturing and service scenarios. And then most recently, we've attacked the industrial IoT market. Uh, today, PTC's ThingWorks platform is a leader in that space. And um, that's technology to really help you stay connected to devices, stay connected to operations, and really optimize the way that all of those things are, are working. And I tell you all of this because PTC's heritage is all about helping companies create, operate, manufacture, and service their products to better. And when we think about augmented reality and we think about its potential in those areas, it's absolutely staggering. So we're really excited about um, the potential here. Our sole mission is really unlocking the value of physical digital convergence, and augmented reality is just an outstanding way to, to, to actually do that. We're focused on industrial enterprises, um, and that's true across the board, from CAD to PLM. And with AR, that's, uh, that's no exception. That's, um, that's where we see a tremendous amount of value that we want to generate in the market um, and help all of you, all of you take, a, take a look at. We've got about 28,000 customers, and about 10,000 of them, 10,000 customers are engaged with us on the topic of augmented reality. They're trying our software, they're giving us feedback on requirements, they're helping us to make it better all the time. Um, and we've gotten a, a good glimpse into some of the use cases in industrial enterprises where AR can be applied. And I'd like to share with you some of our findings. The first use case at the beginning of the life cycle is in design. So engineers and designers are constantly trying to communicate their ideas. And being able to use augmented reality to share with partners and suppliers and even customers how their products will look, how their products will feel at life-size scale in the context of the real world, in the context of the environments where they'll be used is incredibly compelling. Moving on to uh, manufacturing. In manufacturing, we're seeing lots of use cases where frontline workers want to have the most relevant, up-to-date information presented to them in the context where they're doing their job. That could be augmented process instructions on how to assemble something or put something together. Inspection scenarios are very common. I want to overlay the digital content on the physical product that I'm building, make sure I'm doing it in the right way. As well as even simple examples like exposing system, um, system data. Uh, you may think of it as IoT data, um, you know, operational characteristics, pressures, temperatures, overall efficiency. Being able to present that information in the context of where I'm doing my job is, in, is incredibly compelling. Um, operation, we see companies that are using AR to train 
and educate people on how to operate machines, how to operate devices out in the real world. Um, those are for not only, not only training scenarios to get them up to speed, but ongoing operation, um, you know, actually interacting with a user interface that is able to then control a machine instead of using a screen, instead of using a keyboard, actually using a, using a presented UI. And then finally, service, right? Service is really the killer use case, being able to arm a technician with the relevant information that they need, be it contextual data, be it 3D instructions so that they can get their job done more quickly, more efficiently and effectively, and often more safely um, is, is, is incredibly compelling. So, you know, we see a direct connection between the value of AR and the traditional markets that we've been, we've been serving for a long time. And because of this connection, because of this opportunity, there's a tremendous amount of, of, of focus and, frankly, investment within PTC going into our AR strategy. And at the heart of that AR strategy is Vuforia. So, Traditionally, you may think of Euphoria as a computer vision SDK. Um, 475,000 developers around the world rely on that SDK to power many of the apps that will be shown here, many of the apps that are finalists for Augie Awards. Um, and we're very proud of that, and we, and we thank you all for relying on our technology, and we're, we're, we're proud that you do that and committed to continue to make it better. But what we're doing is we're actually elevating that Vuforia brand. Instead of just being associated with that SDK, which will now be called Euphoria Engine, that will become the umbrella brand for all things augmented reality that come out of PTC. So this is a, this is a, a, a slight repositioning, um, you know, really strengthening that brand and its association with the value of, um, of augmented reality. In the Vuforia family, there are really three key components today, and I want to I want to tell you about those. The first of those, as I mentioned, is Vuforia Engine. So this is the market leading computer vision SDK. It's used by uh, powers the majority of of AR apps that you're out there interacting with in the world, and it de delivers a tremendous amount of flexibility. Used in conjunction with a tool like Unity or some other 3D modeling tool, it provides you the ability to create AR apps that basically can address any, any, uh, any particular use case, any opportunity that you may see out, out in, the, in the market. Uh, we're continuing to expand the capabilities of, of Euphoria Engine. In the past 12 months, we've, uh, we've delivered quite a, quite a few new capabilities. But one of the most exciting, one of the ones that we're getting most feedback on is um, this new model tracking capability. So model tracking basically allows you to train the computer vision in your app based on a 3D representation and then eliminate the need for a traditional image marker. Um, this provides a tremendous amount of flexibility and allows you to literally recognize shapes and then augment content and track that content against those shapes. So it opens up a whole new world of possibilities. We introduced this last December, um, and it has already been adopted by many, many uh, customers. One of those is um, Daimler. So Daimler is using this technology in the Ask Mercedes app. Now, for those of you that own a Mercedes S-Class or E-Class, I don't see a lot of, oh, I see one hand, one hand. All right, so the AR market has a little while to go before we're all driving those, but uh, we will get there. But if you have one of those cars, um, you would be able to use this app, and it replaces the paper user guide that you would have traditionally gotten. It provides information about all of the features and capabilities. It provides instructions. It allows you to access videos and really understand how to take advantage of the full breadth of, of, of um, of capabilities there. Since most of you don't have one, we have brought one to AWE. So tomorrow when you get into the exhibit hall, we'd love you to come by our booth. We've got a Mercedes S-Class there, and uh, we'd, love to, uh, we'd love to show it off for you, and you can take a look at how great this, this technology is. As we move forward, we're introducing more capabilities. So what you're looking at here are capabilities that are coming soon, basically providing the ability to recognize and track against multiple different model targets. 
So here you can see where we've identified and we're tracking against the spaceship. We recognize the motorcycle from, uh, from the left-hand side, and we're tracking and augmenting content there. And then we recognize the motorcycle from the right side. So you'll be able to do all of this within one single experience. Going back to the Mercedes, that means that in that same app, you could look at the dashboard, you could get out of the car and look at the wheels and understand how to replace the tires, you could pop the hood and understand how to check the oil or something like that, okay? So you won't need to relocalize, you won't need to reestablish um, re a target, it will automatically detect them. And um, this capability is available now. If you're a member of the Vuforia Early Access Program, you can try it out. We expect it to be available more broadly by the end of the year. And if you're not a member of the Early Access Program, uh, we'd love to talk to you about how you can become so. So this is, uh, this is a, a great new capability that's coming uh, in the Computer Vision SDK in Vuforia Engine. But at PTC, we also have another AR authoring approach, and this is called Studio. So Studio is a tool that, it, that was developed for content creators. This was developed as a tool for subject matter experts, people that know something and want to communicate using the power of augmented reality, but don't want to write any code. They don't have deep, deep technical expertise. So this is a tool um, that is really targeted at the industrial enterprise. It allows you to very easily reuse can you show my video? There we go. It's a tool that allows you to very e thank you. It, it allows you to very easily reuse existing 3D content that you have. It allows you to create AR experiences that include step-by-step -step sequences. So it's very easy to present procedures and instructions. It provides a seamless way to interact with smart connected devices and operations. So you can expose things like the fuel level, the battery level, um, information from a, a manufacturing line, for example. And it takes advantage of all of the power that is in the Vuforia engine. So it exposes all of that, but doesn't require you to write, to write any code. Once you author it, you publish the experience, and then the experience is consumed in a tool called Vue. Now, Vue is an app that runs on a variety of devices, runs on iOS, runs on Android, runs on Windows, and it also runs on a variety of uh, digital eyewear, um, including Vuzix glasses, as well as the Microsoft HoloLens. And speaking of uh, the HoloLens, uh, PTC and Microsoft have a very close relationship, close partnership around Studio and HoloLens. Um, Studio is, is pretty broadly recognized as the fastest way to get content onto a HoloLens. Um, we have uh, really codified all of the gestures. We make it very easy to create voice commands and associate those with specific actions and triggers inside of your experience. Um, and you know, really, really, the, this combination is incredibly valuable. And we're beginning to see feedback from the market um, validating that value. So I'd, I'd, like to, I'd like to tell you a story. I'd actually like to let one of our customers tell you a story about how that joint combination is driving value and allowing them to train faster and execute their job faster. So let's go ahead and take a look. BAE Systems is committed to solving the most complex problems our customers have. Here at BAE Systems, we make the electric propulsion for hybrid drive buses. Our production tempo has increased dramatically. We brought on a lot of new people. That's forced us to look at innovative solutions to build product correctly every time. How do we do that? How did we do that? Is with mixed reality. When I first tried a HoloLens, I quickly understood that this technology would have significant implications for our business and that we needed to get out in front of it. We had to find a platform that could help us scale, and that's when we began the conversations with PTC. PTC's mission is to bridge the physical and the digital world, whether it's manufacturing, operating, or servicing physical products. We came along and we had a mixed reality solution to allow them to create experiences for the HoloLens quicker and more efficiently. It's all drag and drop. You don't need a lot of technical expertise. You can get up and running right away. Just makes it a lot faster and easier to get a lot of people using the experiences that were created with our software. 
PTC's Mixed Reality Solution has allowed us to drag and drop our 3D models that we already have to create guided work constructions to deliver to our production floor in hours and at a tenth of the cost. We develop a step-by-step -step guide that lets the assembler completely assemble the battery. You're not looking at this in two dimensions anymore on a screen that's far away from you. It's right in front of you. The HoloLens has really become beneficial in allowing us to train new people on this product 30 to 40 percent more efficiently. Using the HoloLens, I was able to cut my assembly time in half. We can understand and we can learn so much faster, efficiently, feel a part of this process. Microsoft has really nailed it with the HoloLens platform, and PTC is helping us scale this affordably across the enterprise. 20 years ago, we didn't have personal computers on every bench. 10 years ago, we didn't have 3D printers. Now I can't imagine building without those. And I think this is what the HoloLens represents. It's the next step in the evolution of high-tech manufacturing. The future of mixed reality is really exciting because the possibilities are endless. We're just starting to scratch the surface of it. It really is endless what we're gonna be able to do and where we can go. This is gonna help us get there. So a couple of, uh, couple of key points, 30 to 40% faster training, perform my assemblies 50% faster, and do it at one-tenth of the development cost. Pretty, uh, pretty exciting story. In addition to HoloLens, we've also got a great partnership with uh, Vuzix. Any chance I can get my notes back on the monitor here? Um, the same technology that we use for authoring these experiences in 3D can be used to author content in 2D, in assisted reality, if you will. Um, and we've got great support for the Vuzix classes. Uh, we have those down at our booth, and we'd love you to, we'd love you to come by and, uh, and take a look at those. Um, so with Vuforia Engine and Studio, we're basically covering the gamut of authoring, right? We're providing ultimate flexibility with Engine for you to do anything that you want. In these industrial use cases, we're providing a guard-railed, faster approach for people that don't, uh, that don't want to write, write any code. So, you know, great collection of tools to create more AR, AR content. The third leg of the, of the Vuforia family um, is uh, Vuforia Chalk. So if you were here last year, we introduced Vuforia Chalk to you. And um, Vuforia Chalk is available. Some I, I heard Tim, Tim Merrill mention it on a panel earlier. Uh, hopefully you know what it is, but it basically provides remote assistance and remote collaboration capabilities so that you can see what I see and we can write on the world, write on the physical world um, together. This is a great new capability. It's an out-of-the-box application. It just works. Uh, we've spent the last year getting, first off, delivering initial versions of it and getting feedback from businesses that actually want to take advantage of this in their enterprise settings. So I'm excited to let you know that in just three weeks, there will be a version available for you to use at work. It has a lot of business back-end capabilities like user management uh, that many of you have been, have been requesting, and we'll unveil that uh, shortly. I'd like to, to show you a, um, actually, I'm going to skip the video because I'm running a little short on time here. Um, but I would love you to come by our booth and, 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 and take, a, take a look at that. Now, all of, the, all of the capabilities that I've discussed so far are available um, as commercial offerings. They're available today. You can visit Vuforia.com to, to access them. I also want to share with you something that we're working on for the future. Uh, most of the technology that I've shown you has been about augmenting things or augmenting relatively small spaces. But we're also thinking about the ability to augment much larger spaces. Think about this room. Think about um, a factory or think about an oil refinery. And in order to do that, we've partnered with a company called Matterport. If you've bought or sold a house lately, you may know these guys. They provide a great piece of technology that allows you to capture a 3D space uh, with a camera and scanner and then have a virtual representation of that design. And we're working with them to allow you to author AR content against that. So this is in the R&D labs today, um, but let me show you how it might possibly work. So here we are in a factory. This factory happens to be in Germany, and we're scanning the factory. And then once we have that 3D scan of this large space, we can begin to associate metadata with it. We can create tags that indicate different parts of machinery, or we can actually define almost geofences that we can use to present the right information at the right time as you move around this space. 
So here we are walking through the factory with a HoloLens on, and you can see that we're looking at the bending station or the cutting station. You can see that we're seeing real-time status information about the machines that are being worked on there. And here in the assembly station, you'll see that we're actually low on parts. And then as you get closer to the place where the parts are, you'll actually see which parts are low and you know, be able to keep the factory up and running. So it's, it's great technology. We're really excited about the partnership that we have with them. And um, you know, as with all of this technology, we'd love to tell you more. So at our booth in the, in the expo, we'll be showing off all of this technology. The, the, the Mercedes will be there. The Matterport folks will be there. Um, and we'd love you to, to, to come by and, and try it out. We've got a, a bunch of demos there. Um, finally, uh, I just want to wrap up by mentioning that if you're interested in learning more about how PTC is approaching these industrial enterprises, how we're thinking about bringing AR to bear on all of these use cases and many more, we've got a great event coming up in a couple of weeks. It's in Boston, June 17th through 20th, and it will be full of all kinds of great stuff like this. Thanks a lot for your time today. Enjoy the rest of the event. Thank you.